hi uh, welcome to my channel in this short video i'll try to explain asymmetric encryption and decryption so encryption using public key and decryption using private key we'll be using bouncy castle apis uh, make sure to watch my previous video and in this one we'll be using the oap encoding class to do the encryption and decryption i'll also provide a sample project file which you can download from the link uh, given in the description below so uh, if you have not used bouncy castle um, it maybe this is, can be a very helpful introduction to the apis so these short videos attempt to explain how you can do encryption and decryption using public keys and uh, private keys so as you see on the screen uh, this is the this is the application which i had made in the previous video which allows you to generate a certificate as well as it also extracts out the public key and the private key in a text file format which is the pem file format so it will create the certificate for you and it will also generate the public as well as the private key for you so make sure you watch my previous tutorial to in order to have this application which will allow you to generate the certificate as well as the key this uh, this is required for this tutorial for this video in order for us to do encryption and decryption okay so let's get started so i have made a very again a very simple ui to explain encryption and decryption so i'll just launch it from visual studio so this is what it looks like so you can select which public key to key to use which public key pem file to use so and let us okay yeah so that's a public key pem file and these are the files which i am going to use and you need the public key pem file you need the private key file okay so let me browse and select the public key so that's the one which i'll use for encryption and i'll close this window here and let me select the private key file as well okay and now i can type some text here so say this is a sample text and if i hit the encrypt button it will encrypt using the public key and output uh, show the output in the output uh, window in the output box there okay so it should be fairly simple if i hit okay so that's the encrypted part so it has taken that string a text string and convert and encrypted it using the public key and that's the output which you see in the output uh, output window there so yeah so let's try to decrypt it now so if you copy that again so you can hit the button there so it has so that's uh, encrypted string so if i press decrypt i should get back the original string okay and it it will be using the private key file as we'll see in the code okay so there it is so we have got our text back maybe you can play with this ui and uh, say give the public key or uh, to your friends or colleagues and uh, with this application and you can keep the private key so which can be used to perform the decryption of the encrypted text that's a good way to start learning how how encryptions are and decryptions are performed uh, as as if you are not aware this is the fundamental of how the web security is based where you have two different keys a public key which is given to the outside world whereas uh, the companies or most of these uh, website vendors or the people they keep the private key with themselves for decrypting the data that's the entire basis for web based security products so let me try something else as well here i'll just type a different text as well and let me okay and i'll encrypt it so okay so that's the encrypted text and if i copy back i should get back the original i'll say decrypt and here it is so that's the decrypted text now so i have got back what was encrypted so this should give you a fairly good start and let's look at the code it's a very there are two very simple methods here 
encrypt with public key and decrypt with private key which uses the bouncy castles OAP encoding class. Or with these two, whatever these, uh, whatever files you select. So as you can see, very simple methods, very easy to understand and very simple to start with. And uh, I have included this project file in the description below, which can be a good uh, starting point uh, so you don't have to create a UI and uh, you can use this to generate your own certificates as well as to uh, play with encryption and decryption. I hope you like this short video, it's an extremely short video but I think it's a, it should be very helpful. So in case of decryption the only change is we pass a false to the init method flag and this is what happens on when you click the buttons and I think this should be fairly be self-explanatory these days doesn't need any introduction and uh, yeah I think uh, if you like my video please give me a thumbs up and uh, thank you for watching I will see you in the next video thanks bye bye <laughs>